Sounds like I was singing. <laughs> it's me and Mike and Haley and, and Gianna. And we are, oh, that this sun is sun bright. Bright today. Yeah, hey, I'm happy. It's, it's warm. 40. It's pretty warm. It's only 45, but it feels so warm. Yeah, because we've we came been out so without cold. jackets. It's been so cold where we're at, and it's just. I, I don't like the cold, but I grew up here. I was born here, so I'm used. To, I should be used to the cold, but I'm not. I don't like it. I but, do not like cold. It's my worst nightmare. But we're we're gonna take you guys along with our shopping. With our shopping, we are going grocery shopping. It you is like what the wrestling families do, and how hard it is, and. We got a diet for some some of us, and some of us we don't. And I mean, technically, most of us are dieting, except yeah. for Gianna and Haley. I'm dieting. Yeah, I'm dieting. Ashley's dieting. My mother-in-law's dieting, and Zachy's dieting. That so, kid just really has to watch what he. Zach's just got to maintain weight. He's really not dieting. He just has to make. He's already back up to 146 pounds. With all that work. All that hard work, just. Went out the window as soon as wrestling weigh-ins were done. It's like, dude, you're killing me, bud. Guys, yeah. I have to watch what I eat because I have to get good face time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's true. Yeah, that is very true. So, so I'm this is I'm not trying. exactly what normal wrestling families go through, but it's very similar. We get a lot of veggies and... Lean meats, not even fatty meats, like lean, lean meat. But we don't even eat the traditional hamburger that everyone eats. We eat turkey burger. Yeah. So that is our traditional hamburger. Like when Ashley says, Mike, we'll get two rolls of hamburger, it's turkey burger. Yeah. So, and, and then we eat a lot of chicken. I mean, we, we eat so much chicken, we should just raise our own. We really should, but I don't think I could do it. I think I would be too grossed out by it. I know it's natural and like it's the that's how it happens, blah blah blah. But if but you're not a part of it, it's easier to be okay eating it. And honestly, I if it was up to me, I would be vegan or a vegetarian and because I'm, I'm glad it's not up to her. <laughs> I don't I don't agree with the whole thing with animals, but that's just me and I've learned to kind of just deal with it because meat is good. Good One, point. Mike's a money maker, and two, Mike likes his meat, so I don't uh, want him to be a grouchy guy. Being Sicilian and just, you gotta have that meat, and it was hard for me to give up the red meat. I mean, we still we eat We still it. have it sometimes, still like some, this week we'll do steak, yeah. salsa steak. But it's, it's, Guys, it's salsa harder. salsa steak is so good, am I gonna make my salsa? I was gonna buy salsa, but we could definitely have you make your salsa. Yay! It's, it is a very... Red, red meat is good, but it's expensive. And I, but it was hard for me to give it up. Like it was, once Haley got diagnosed with her celiac disease, it was so hard for me as a person to give up the red meat. Like my my siblings are I like, mean, they're like, oh, we couldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. You're a better dad than I am. I was like, it's just and something technically we Technically, we, we didn't like give it completely up. Like we eat it, but it's just, there for a while we were only eating red meat. And red meat's so expensive too. I mean, well, like for a while it was cheaper than like chicken and pork, like chicken and stuff. But we ate a lot of pork and steak. And, and pork is so expensive, and it's so unhealthy for you. Like, I mean, it, we have it occasionally. Like this week, we'll have pork chops. Oh, are we? Yeah. See. But. So we'll do a couple red meats this week because just one because Zach cut so much weight. I want to like give him some good protein. Red meat. Some good. You good. Know. Good high protein yeah but I mean and then later tonight we'll take you guys along with us on our workout we're starting the, the new week and this is Sunday is technically the first day of the, of the week so we're gonna work, start working out and 
we're late on our New Year's resolutions, but that's okay because everybody starts them on the first. So if we're ready to start them now, then that's when we're going to start them. And, and that's when you're going to keep them. Yeah. The biggest thing is keeping them. Everyone starts these New Year's resolutions on the first and it lasts a week. And it's like, well, were you really physically and mentally ready for it? No, you weren't. So you have to be mentally ready for it, in my opinion. So I'm going to do a brave thing that most women don't do. I'm 235 pounds, where I used to be in the hundreds before having kids, or even after having the kids, I was only in the hundreds. But, like, I ended up with uterine cancer and everything, and that made it to where I just kind of, like, got depressed because we lost a baby before that and all kinds of stuff. So there's just, like, a lot of things that played into the fact of that. And by actually going out, publicly saying her, her weight and saying, you know, with the cancer and losing the baby, it, that's saying that she's ready to do what she needs to do. I mean, before wrestling season, we were working out every day and we were down. I was down to almost to the 200s, solid 200s, not double digit 200s. And now I'm back up, I'm back at 220. And I was, I was almost 199 pounds and I got busy with wrestling and coaching and I forgot to be me and do what I needed to do and I just worried about getting the kids and you know it, we got to also worry about us on top of our children as, See, as parents and, and that's where a lot of parents I think even myself goes off and I think oh the kids need this kids need that kids need this and totally forget about myself yeah. not purposely it just happens it's just human and, and we're not trying to be self-centered and self oh it's all about us no we're, we're still parents and we still worry about our kids and and I think we need to also look at it as if we don't take care of take ourselves, care of ourselves. We can't we take, take care of our kids yeah you know and if we don't do it how are our kids gonna do it when they're in their 20s and 30s and 40s if and they're like, well, mom and dad didn't, they, they stopped caring once they had us. Well, no, we need to be at that mentality of, hey, no, we need to care because they need to care when they're our, our age. Not only that, I feel like whenever I'm at a heavier weight, my anxiety really gets to me. Like, I never really used to have anxiety. I would worry about things, but I literally, once I got cancer, I, I had full-blown anxiety. Like... It was literally all I could do to calm myself down, you know, like I, I would put all my efforts into calming myself down. And, but once I started to lose weight, I feel like my anxiety kind of stopped. But I also, you know, being cancer free helps too, but. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. And Ashley is taking her veggies with her while we go shopping for veggies. Yep. So. Yeah, these are the It Works greens, so I'll let you guys know how they taste. And I just brushed my teeth and did my fluoride thing, because with braces you have to get a special kind so that you don't get cavities. So I have to wait 30 minutes. Then I took those, the little B shots, is what it said on there. What is it? It's an energy stick. Energy stick. I, I call them a different name and it's not appropriate, so... But it's it's like full on energy. It's like a pixie stick, energy yeah. pixie stick. And Good, but we can I, have it. I like it. I feel great. I was a little sluggish and tired because I woke up and I went and worked with my buddy redoing the floor. So I was a little sluggish and tired and drowsy. And that was even after having a cup of coffee at the house. But so. Hopefully and all I've had today was my keto coffee because it's a meal replacement. So, and I actually feel really good. So I'm just getting ready. Oh yeah, we got some scrunchies. Um, so I'm getting ready to try those here soon. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping. We'll show you as much as we can. We'll probably have one of the kids record so that I can concentrate on the grocery list. And you'll um, see actually, how crazy no, it is. you know what? I'm not gonna be able to because I have my list on my phone and I wasn't thinking it completely through. So we'll come back to you after we're gro done grocery shopping. Okay, guys, so we just got out of our the grocery store, <laughs> and it was crazy busy. Yeah, because of the Packer game. Not only that, like, there was no bananas. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? I think it might, I don't know. I have no clue. We didn't ask, but. Nor did. 
So we're probably gonna go get something to eat or go home and make something to eat or something. Uh, um, but Ashley did a, a good job on savings. We saved with all our coupons and our, our, our King's card that uh, we got uh, saved $35. Yeah, so $35.07. So. For two weeks worth of meals. Yeah, we only spent $171.50. 170, yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, so. And the girls were decent in the store. I mean, we expect worse, so. <laughs> <laughs> Them kind of singing and playing did all right. Yeah. All right, well, we'll catch up to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're going to get Philly cheesesteak because that's, we're just tired of fast food restaurants, the big chains like Taco Bell, Wendy's, uh, McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Arby's, you know, the, the big chains because last night. There's we, nothing wrong with them. But. It's not, there's not, we just, we live in a, a smaller town and we like, you know, taste everyone's food, you know, their, their own. Oh Wait. no, we're not. Oh yeah, uh, it is open. Is it, it is open? open. Well, maybe. It's closed. Is it closed? It's closed today. Oh man. All right, so we're not going to get Philly, but maybe we'll get barbecue or something. There's another place. But uh, last night we went to Wendy's and got Wendy's, and I ordered one, a number one, and and I took a breath, and she goes. Does that complete your order? I was like, no. I don't like when you guys, when we go to order something and I tell them it's a large order, they're like, okay. And they keep telling you after every one or you take a breath and they're like, is that complete your order? I will let you know if it completes my order. I'm not done until I say, all right, I'm done. My, that's all. That is a frustrating thing. Give me your opinion if you guys like it or if you work in the fast food, l let me know. I mean, because I've worked in a fast food restaurant. I worked at Burger King and it was like accustomed to not say that until the end and then. But it's like it, it's frustrating to be the customer and have that. Babe, what do you think? Do you think it's frustrating? No, I agree. I worked at Subway, but we, <clears throat> I mean, people pretty much order their stuff and you know whenever it's the end. So. Yeah, because you went down the line. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It just, it's it's frustrating, including when I have six people I got to order for, and I'm the one that orders it. So yeah. I'm going through the list or, okay. you know, sometimes I don't always say, I got a big order. And sometimes my kids are picky. My daughter doesn't like no veggies at all on anything, and she's the queen of blah. So <laughs> she, it's like, I got to be picky with it. And then you didn't hear my order because you don't want to be there. I mean, if you don't like your job, I'm sorry. Find a new one. My grandpa always said, if you don't like your job, you know, if you wake up every day not liking it, find something that you enjoy and like. That's the biggest thing. But give us comments below and let us know. But we're going to try to go find a new place because our Philly cheesesteak place is closed in town. So. Alrighty. Hey guys, so we're in our garage making it into our gym. We had it kind of somewhat our gym last year, but we're getting it like super like our gym. Like between the 4th of July and everything else, it got away from us. And then I you have to use it as a garage too. And so I was cutting some wood to fix up our floors. So it, it got away from me. Yeah, so we're just trying to get it back to where we want it. Um, and then we're going to get some more gym equipment. So we right now we have two sets of barbells. Dumbbells. Sorry, dumbbells. Um, and then we have a, um, what is that thing called? A yoga mat. And then we have an ab roller. We have a couple different types of push-up bars. We yeah. have a punching bag. We have um, uh, a resistance band. We have... Some other resistance balls. bands that goes around your legs. We have two different balls, like so, the bouncy balls, the ones so that you a sit on. Or... One and a non one. Yeah, um, and then we have a uh, like a push up bar or whatever, or, or not a push up bar, pull up, uh, bars. pull up bars. 
And then a, um, what is that one called over there? And then we have the bench bar and we have like some workout equipment like, but Mike has to get like, um, the a new cable and some, yeah. uh, yeah. new pulleys. Yeah. So we got cable and some pulleys. Yeah. We got it for Zach's birthday and then we never just put it together and it's just collected things. So we're going to use it this, this year. Hopefully we can we're get it together. Put stuff up in the rafters and get all this junk put up. So yeah, see. Yeah, we got a bunch of, you know, Christmas stuff, you know, Christmas, stuff that Halloween. you get for holidays and it just ends up taking up space. Let me move for you. No, you're good. So, I thought no. I would check back in with you guys. Um, I was going to do grocery haul, but I ended up putting it all away because we just ended up going eating. Um, so, that's what we did. But, I will check back in with you guys later. Oh, El also... Haley and Gianna are in the house doing Haley's Ireland um, report that she has due tomorrow that we waited till last minute to do. You know, normal kid stuff. Um, and then um, I have to give baths and get them ready for school tomorrow. So we'll be back with you later. All right, guys. So it is nine o'clock. At our time, I believe, I don't know, I was yeah. trying to look for my phone. It's 9-11. 9-11. The Haley's getting ready to finish up her, well, she is finishing up her bath. She's getting ready to go to bed. So, she's now a big girl. I mean, she's always been a big girl, but she's nine years old, and we're letting her wash her own hair and stuff. And Gianna is helping her with her project. She's drawing a leprechaun. And uh, for Ireland project, <laughs> but uh, we kind no. of brought you along with our day for the most part. So, like I said, if you guys have any comments, any I let you stop <laughs> anything about what we talked about today, please comment below. Let us know. Tell us your opinion, and uh, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the no notification bell, and keep smiling. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.